Hey everybody, this is Arathas and welcome to Narcos, a game where you get to play as the DEA in Colombia attempting to deal with the drug lords. And yes, this is a tie-in to the TV show. So if you're a fan of that, you'll probably find references and scenes and stuff that you will recognize. Now, let's get into the game. Also, I have already played the tutorial, so we're technically going into the second mission because the first mission was pure tutorial. Let's do this. Welcome to Columbia, Agent. We're hoping your skills and experience will help us with our problem down here. Well, I hope so, too. I didn't come here to die. We suspect a drug cartel has been manufacturing cocaine and smuggling it out of the country. We need to get on top of things before we lose control. In Columbia? Cocaine in Columbia, you don't say. You need to recruit some men and get them trained fast. I've allocated your department a budget. It's not much, but if you want more, I need to see some results. Or you guys are going to be stealing, well, not stealing, confiscating money from all the cartels, which is fine. Fine. Understandable. But still, don't act like you ain't got a budget here. All right. Let's start turning over some stones. See what bugs we find. We need to move fast if we're going to make a dent down here. Of course. And for those of you who aren't aware of this game, the gameplay style revolves entirely around like an XCOM style tactical game. I'm sorry, I have to pay money to go on missions apparently later with that saying free? What the? Case the area and arrest any hostiles, but don't expect them to come quietly. So kill them. All right. Sanchez, Carrasco, Benito, Herrero. And this is the dude I controlled during the tutorial. I can't change the squad, so let's go into the mission. Uh, in the previous mission, I wasn't allowed to select my squad. I started with our main dude, and that was it. We need to strike back, kill them all. No voice acting in this portion of the game? Huh. This is the deployment phase where you can freely move your squad members anywhere within the deployment zone to strategically position your squad. Once you are done, select end deployment to commence the mission. All right. So there's still some tutorial. Now, I will say this game does have a few weird little quirks or lack of a better word. Uh, just they're not bad. They're just not something you'd expect to see in a XCOM style game. For example, you cannot move all of your squad members in a in a single turn like you can in most XCOM games. You can move one dude. He can move, he can shoot, or he can move and reload, stuff like that. But he cannot but you cannot use it all. Once you use your dude, they move a dude. Then you move a dude, then they move a dude. Uh, I kind of don't like you being out in the open, dude. So I'm going to pull you back here. All right. End deployment. Press Z or X to view the positions of the enemies when I'm shooting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to control Herrero. And as you can see, you have the standard half cover, full cover thing. 38%. I'll do a sure shot. Why not? It was not a sure shot. So see, now he gets his turn. Oh, wow. You are much more accurate than my special ops dude with a rifle. What's that? Rest. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, if you rest in this game, unlike, say, for example, XCOM... If you rest in this game, you get health points back. One per turn. Oh, well, this, this ain't great. Yeah, our spec ops dude is very, very bad at his job. Uh, the other thing you will notice when you play this game is you don't really have an overwatch button. How the game works is sure. you guys do get points, like your characters get points that they build up. And I believe it is this little orange thing. If they have overwatch capability, that automatically activates. So when an enemy runs in front of you, 
it activates, but it doesn't automatically fire. You actually kind of goes into an action sequence and then you have to manually use the mouse to target and start shooting. It's an interesting mechanic. On it. And how you get that point back. Let's see, all allies within five meters gain counter counteract. That's the ability. We're not going to use it right now. I'm going to try to move everybody up. Oh, our dude's probably going to die right there. The upside is... <laughs> I think you know what's going to happen now. I don't know why we have a red shield. Hmm. Let's try to move. Yeah, let's move way back. Also, sometimes when you do that attack I just did. Yeah, I know he's going to get hit now. You will get the option to do a second attack. It is also like kind of action-y. Sure. But yeah, like I said, you can use counteract once and then you have to rebuild the points. Some characters like this dude apparently have the ability to grant counteract points other character uh most of the time though if you end your turn without attacking you get half a counteract point it's weird get into position. But, eh, it's not a bad mechanic just Steady hit. oh this is brutal Duck hunt. <laughs> yeah that chain reaction thing that popped up is what i was talking about More like ammo. you get to get a second attack Ooh. Well, I don't like that. Okay, fine. Fine. A su servicio. We need to try to flank you. Hmm. Or. Oh, you give counteract too. I don't know if I'd survive another attack if I did this though. I'd rather move where I'm not flanked. Well, five? No, that's the counteract. Never mind. Ah! Oh, I hit him once. Not sure how I feel about them being quite this... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Better prepared for the fight than I am. On it. Hey, use your shotgun for me. Crap, we didn't get a... We didn't get a chain reaction that time. Oh, right there. That's what I was talking about. The action sequence. Because he had a counteract point. Alright, I'm going to put you here. And we're going to reload. And I'm going to start healing him. Yeah, they're building overwatch points is what they're doing. Huh? So what I want to do is I kind of want to do the same thing. I want to bring everybody up so I can start giving counteract points. Listo, mi lanza. Afirmativo. Yup, yup. You can do it too? Holy crap. Nice. I kind of assumed that skill was going to be more rare than it actually is. Get up here, dude. Then I'm going to make him rest if he'll let me. Okay, you can't move and rest. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. It makes sense if I'm making his wounded ass stagger all the way over here he's not gonna have you know he's not gonna have like health point he's not gonna be able to rest he's not actually getting any rest all right you want know to use this nope not everybody's within range do not use that because i don't want to go five turns before i can use it again 
There we go. Huh? Can I get you to do it? I can. Use it. I love that. I love that too, my friend. Now rest. Yep, see? One HP. I feel like that could probably be abused though. See, I can make him come back up to full health. And he's getting counteract points. But I don't want to lose these characters because I feel like I have to pay to get more. And I probably lose the game if Murphy there does. So we gonna heal. And there doesn't appear to be a mission time limit, so okay. eh. Alright, Herrero. I expect better from you next time. And also, it looks like the only people getting counteract points when I do this rest or end the turn is the unit I selected. Obviously, nobody else is getting any benefit. So that is a downside I can see to this um, combat style. Is... You could basically just go Rambo and use the same character over and over again. Like, you wouldn't even need a huge... You know. There isn't really a huge emphasis to use your entire squad unless you're going to use all of your counteract points. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to move my shotgun dude up. Because I believe he has yeah. the most armor. On it. Oh, you look at that. Yeah, no, I'm fine with this. Okay. A su servicio. A su servicio. Hmm. I want to get people into position to snipe that dude when he comes down the road. Because he's going to run. Oh, he's not going to rush. Now, why does he look like he's got a better shotgun than I do? Because he probably does. Yep, and that turn. And we will creep up on this dude. I find it odd that he can shoot at me from that angle. Huh? Oh, now I can. Well, that didn't work. I'm closer. Yes. And now I'm going to get blasted in the face quite hard. That sucks. <laughs> I'm going to have to come around. Because if I don't, he's going to kill my dude. So we're just going to execute you straight to the face. Target neutralized. Yeah, like I said, it's a little odd, the combat system. I don't mind it, but it is a little odd. Like when you're used to like XCOM, it's like move every squad member. It's like, oh, okay. But yeah. So yeah, unless you make those preparations to like trigger everybody to have like counteract points available. Yeah, there's not a huge reason to use multiple squad members. But I think the issue that some people are going to have playing this game is they're going to go into this. Oh. One dude injured. Okay. So yeah, I think one of the things that people are going to have issues with with this game when they play it is they're going to try to rush it. They're going to try to do like an XCOM, an XCOM 2. You constantly want, like you're, you're pushing to finish the mission as quickly as possible. You don't have to. But a lot of times you have a time limit with like the bomb missions and the like terror missions and all that. You have, there's an urgency pushing you forward. Not all the missions, mind you, I'm aware, but there are a lot of missions that they want you to push, you know, the urgency. With this one, I feel like they want you to go just based on that system of counteract. I feel like they want you to slow down, get everybody into position, get the counteract points ready and then send one dude to trigger stuff. 
At least that's how, that seems to me like the logical way to play this game. If that's the intention, I don't know, but that's what I feel like it probably is, so. Injured and dead units. If a unit is injured or killed during a successful mission, they will be displayed as such here. Killed units are gone for good. Injured units must fully recover before they can rejoin your squad. All right. Injured units recover one for each mission you play. You can also spend money to instantly recover them. Money for instant healing. Okay. Can I get better gear? Drug seized, men arrested, intel gathered. This has turned some heads upstairs. We need to press home our advantage. I understand. This is good news. The higher our approval rating, better leads we get from those nerds in the intel department. And more money means more manpower and better training. We have new recruits already waiting to sign up. Very nice. Before heading to the campaign map, check out your roster. This is your roster. It consists of every person under your command. Here you can assemble your squad and level them up. If they aren't working out for you, you can retire them. Herrero. When you're finished looking at your roster, go to recruitment. All right. Yeah, I would really love to give him better weapons. If I really hope that's not how it works. I really hope. Is your squad the men going into battle? OK. I really hope. This isn't a setup where your web, you know, your characters come with a certain weapon and that's all they're going to have. Because Sanchez here just has a pistol and that's apparently all he's ever going to have. Like, eh. Or if I can't upgrade, you know, to better rifles and stuff. We'll see. This is where you can hire additional people to fight for. You've only got one free slot in your roster right now, but this will increase as you progress, as will the level of recruits available. New recruits will cost you money, so spend wisely. Honestly, I would rather another spec ops dude. A level two spec ops dude sounds interesting. Gunslinger. You can store one additional counterattack. Ooh. So basically an additional overwatch point. I like it. I'ma hire you. Confirm. Yeah, I can't interact with the weapon system at all. You want me to go to the squad? No, I don't, I don't want to hire a recruit. So the DEA only shows up with shotguns? That seems a little weird, honestly. <laughs> All right. So. Let's take a look at the map. My name have intercepted a shipment. These guys won't come quietly. Secure the area with lethal force if necessary. It seems like we always want to use lethal force from the sounds of things. However, this is actually all the time I do have for today. So thank you all so very much for watching. And if you guys want to see more of this game, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, or whatever combination of those actions suits you today. And yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments below if you are interested in seeing more. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.